Okay, welcome to another episode. Today we are going to talk about our top six notary, notary myths. myths. It's a completely unnecessary expense starting out, actually. If you go through our videos, you'll see where I show you how to use a page sorter. And you don't need a dual tray printer, which yep. costs two or three times as much. Yep. So you've got um, you've got Notary Rotary, which is our personal favorite. And then you have a legal page splitter you can use if you don't have a dual tray printer. That's number six. All right. Tell me about number five, sir. Well, so number five is... We have a list. We're reading from a list. <laughs> Posting in notary, post in notary groups. I don't know where this came from, but uh, posting in notary Facebook groups is not really advertising your service. You might catch an odd job here or there from somebody else who's scouting a notary, but for the most part, you're really just advertising to your peers. You should be posting in your local business group, your community groups. Yes. Okay. So number four. You're on number four? Yes. Number, number four. four. All right. So this is interesting, So, and we hear this a lot, that you don't need to spend money on training. Now, right out the gate, um, maybe you don't need to, but as you come into this business and start your career and get really serious about everything, you definitely want to spend definitely. some money on, on training. Um, we've spent a lot of money on training. That's why we created a course so you can just spend one condensed amount and learn from us. Right. But I mean, the nuggets that we've pulled from even just spending maybe $500 has definitely always had its, uh, we've, we've, it's paid for itself. The for question sure. you should be asking yourself is how far do you want to go with this and how serious are you going to take your business and yourself because nobody who's serious would not invest in themselves. Now, I have said this before in other videos, but I want to put this in context. After already being a seasoned signing agent, already having a good notary business, I purchased John Schnedeker's course. Pretty much 90% of his course was stuff I already had done, or it was a confirmation that I was doing stuff right, I guess. Definitely. Um, but there were a couple little nuggets in there that made it more than worth the price of his course. It Just those couple itself. little nuggets. Definitely. Um, if you want to learn to do advertisement, do you want to learn how to do digital marketing, do you want to do how to do organic marketing, you're going to have to invest in those skill sets. Um, we, when we decided to get into fingerprinting, we got a fingerprinting course at the time. There weren't really a lot of them out when we right. started doing that. So the only one we really could find was a thousand dollars. It was nine hundred dollars <laughs> for that. But it has paid for itself over and over again. And I didn't feel like the information in there was really that good. It was helpful. It was good. It was a good guide and it gave us confidence in what we were doing. But I don't know that it was worth a thousand dollars, but it was definitely worth a thousand dollars on the back end with the money that we made from the knowledge we gained. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Number three is that you don't need a website. I mean, we hear this all the time. I'm gonna let you take this one because that's that's all you. <laughs> you don't need a website if you just want to leave money laying down on the table all over the place day yeah. in day out. Go for it. You don't need a website. And I would even add, don't need a website is that you don't need a professional website because some people have a website and it's a Google site and it's almost functionally the same thing as not having a website. Um, you need a WordPress site is what you need and you need a nice crisp clean one and you need to have some content on there uh, and you need to have basically some SEO done and that thing will be a money machine if you do it right. 100%. All right, so we are to number two. This is my personal favorite. I see this everywhere is that you cannot prepare legal documents. <laughs> Ugh, this just burns us because um, there's this myth is why we're talking about this, that um, you can't prepare legal documents, you can't fill in the documents, and notarize the documents. That is definitely not the case in the state of Florida. The degree to which you can prepare legal documents depends entirely on your state and what your state considers or deems unauthorized practice of law. Now, 
your diligence. You for need sure. to do your research yeah. on your state. So some states, it's perfectly allowable if you're a paralegal. Other states, you don't even need to be a paralegal. And maybe there's other states where you can't do it at all. Now, there's also some definitions that need to be clarified because I think some people's definition of preparing a legal document is drafting a document. Right. No, you can't draft a document. But we also need to define who is a notary because a title agent is a notary. And title agents prepare legal documents all day. For that matter, most attorneys are notaries, okay? But they do have the ability to escape the unauthorized practice of law because they are lawyers. But So it depends entirely on where you are. Now, I would go as far as to say that this, this particular niche in the notary industry is so lucrative that if I was in a state like Georgia where in order to prepare legal documents you have to be a paralegal, I would get that paralegal training because this is where the gold is. Absolutely. All right, so with that, what is our number one? Number one is you cannot be a six-figure earner um, with, a a notary notary commission. with a notary commission. Usually said by people who aren't <laughs> notaries and don't know the industry. We, or a lot of notaries that we know um, that see what we're doing and they're like, uh, I've never done any of that with my notary commission. I'm just sitting on this this stamp here <laughs> doing nothing and until we enlighten them on all the things that they can do. There's a plethora of stuff that falls under what we call the notary umbrella Yes. Uh, that allows you to quite easily earn six figures. The reality is, is that if you can exceed three to $400 a day, you can hit six figures pretty easily. And those are just simply determining daily revenue goals yep. and going after the activities under the notary umbrella that are best suited for that. Yeah, we do it all the time. <laughs> we do it all the time. So that is it for today, the top six notary myths. We hope you liked that. We hope you found that insightful. Like and subscribe because um, yeah, we keep cranking out more of these.